East Boston, a massive fire spreading across multiple buildings on Meridian Street earlier this morning. And sadly, we have learned that one person has passed away. Five others remain in the hospital. So our Manash Kungwari has been on the scene all morning long. He joins us live with the very latest out there on the scene. Manash. But of those five hospitalized, we know one is a child. Now, police telling us minutes ago of the five that are in the hospital, one has life-threatening injuries. The other four are expected to survive. Meanwhile, behind me, take a look. Crews continuing to work the scene here as parts of Meridian Street is being blocked off to through traffic. And as far as the buildings that were affected are concerned, the fire commissioner did not go into detail about the extent of the damages, but the 30 or so people who live in those buildings are now looking for a new place to stay tonight. My wife jumped up. She heard screaming. She looked out our front window on the third floor and she saw people running. She said, something's wrong, something's wrong. I came downstairs real fast to see what was going on. I saw some smoke. A tragic morning in East Boston Tuesday. Flames taking over and shooting out of this multifamily home near the intersection of Meridian and White Eagle Streets. The heat and the smoke was so bad. Boston Fire Commissioner Paul Burke was one of the first on scene after getting the call around 5 a.m. He says he and his team had to conduct multiple rescues while fighting the blaze. In fact, one of his firefighters got injured in the process. Overall, it took them about two and a half hours to get everything under control. This was a very, very difficult situation, extremely dangerous situation. Without the actions and quick response from multiple neighborhoods around the city to address this fire, there surely would have been more lives lost. Mayor Michelle Wu also making an appearance and after learning of what happened, and promising to use city resources to help those directly affected. We need to find a way to deliver that support uh, no matter where it's going to come from. Now, police officers say we won't know who died until the family is notified of this tragic incident. In the meantime, crews will continue working to determine a cause. Right now, we're live here in East Boston. Manash Kungwari, NBC10 Boston.